So we stayed at this temple last night. It was a great sleep and woke up to this beautiful view. It is just gorgeous here. Riley and I just kind of came up here. We saw a little sign and a gate and a hill and we were just like, oh, what's up here? Let's check it out. Maybe we can learn something or talk to somebody. And uh, there was this guy up here and nobody spoke any English really. And then this guy, Golden, who's kind of the caretaker of this land. He didn't call himself a monk. He called himself a, um, a practitioner studying or practicing the Buddhism and worship of Tao. He used like a tablet and translated Mandarin into English and we translated English into Mandarin and we were able to talk to him enough. We had a, we had a pretty good little conversation and learned a little bit about his practice. Apparently this temple was built by his grandfather and his dad and now he's running the place and it, they're, they're, they're a family of, family of Buddhists. So that was all super interesting and then all of a sudden, you know, he's offering us a room to stay here uh, with a couple beds and and then uh, we had showers as well. And as soon as he came out of the showers, he had dinner ready for us, like, amazing. We got to talk to Golden a little bit more to kind of learn some wisdom and express selfless love. You can tell that's what they're, they're really practicing just by this... Um, complete sense of giving to complete strangers. It's so, just a real honor to stay here. We're gonna probably pack up pretty soon and start heading up to Donghe and see what other sites we can see along the way. Yeah. But I'm really glad we came and checked this place out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we wanted to say uh, thank you. Uh, no, so very much. Hopefully so we'll see you again. Oh, I'll see you, see you. I saw a boat and I love boats so we're gonna have to check that boat out the boat's just sitting here I guess it's on display they got stands for it and stuff like that it's a big boat I don't know what it was for but that's it there's a rope going up to the top whoa I mean like should we should we try and climb it I'm good you're good I think I'm gonna try climbing it. It's a bit of a climb, but I made it up. I'm not really sure what kind of boat this was, but there's some hatches and stuff here, so I might as well check it out. Oh, that looks like an old fishing boat. This is the, um, one of the hull coolers, I guess, where they would uh, store all the fish. What we got in here? We got the galley. Oh yeah. A couple stoves, breakers, all the good stuff in here. What do we have? Oh. It's more an abandoned boat. It's pretty cool. Little burners, yeah. Pretty cool. This looks like a tiny kitchen. I'm crouched over. I can barely even stand in this thing. It's absolutely tiny. Oh. Let's go check out the sides here. Cool. Oh, looks like a washing machine. Yeah. Oh, there's the head. The old toilet. It's pretty cool. It's just on the side. I guess you have to go out of the boat, back in the boat. Oh, here's another little corridor. Looks like maybe the berths for sleeping in. Neat. Oh, it smells like an engine room. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Woo. Here, better way to get down there. Neat. I love it. 
This would be really cool if this was underwater for diving. Look at that, there's all the circuit boards there, panels, instruments for metering everything. Uh, the, the bill is just full of rusted old water and oil. It's pretty disgusting. Let's see what I got here. No empty door. Whew. Really not sure what kind of boat this was, but oh man. The bridge. Oh. There's a phone. Ah, check it out. Ni hao. Oh, yeah, yeah, I uh, I think we're grounded. Yeah, we're not moving. Yeah, we're gonna need some rescuing. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what happened when they did the distress call. Oh, you got a little shrine here too, in the captain's quarters. And that was going downstairs. It's gonna get dark, so I'm gonna turn the light on here. Light is on. Ooh, it is stinky in here. It's quite eerie, it smells like boat. Oh look at that. A kettle full of chain. Interesting. I wonder if I can find the engine. I wanna find the engine in this boat. Got more coolers. More coolers. Well, that is a rotten floorboard. I don't want to put too much weight on that. I can feel like it's going to just pop to the floor and I don't really want to die inside of a fishing boat here. Nothing really in here. All right, it's in this door. Ah, back to the other part that I was looking down before. Okay, so I was just up there before looking down at these contactors here with the controls um, Some HVAC stuff and honestly, I do not want to go down in the builds there some neat stuff. Yeah Not sure what it all is, but it's something That looks like the big HVAC stuff there big compressor tank used to um, Cool down all the fish Um ladder is but maybe we can get down oh, there's nothing really down there in this bilge yeah nothing really here man I don't know how to get the engine here well there's a bit of a opening that way so might as well do the venture all the way around here Whew. man I don't know how the fishermen do this like they would have to cross this to get over there that's not good but yeah check out all these control boards there's so many here the old contactors Dan rail and yeah, more contactors. Got some fuses. All the gauges, the back of the gauges are here. Little knobs. I guess those are more valves, not just knobs. Um, don't much. I don't really know much about uh, HVAC stuff, but I know a bit about electrical. Oh, those are more breakers, 30 amps. Yeah, right there. Still good. More fuses. I guess this is all for the HVAC controls for the cooling and stuff like that. All the different power systems, there'll probably be uh, many AC and DC power systems on this boat. Look at all those wires just completely snipped. Obviously there's no one trying to look for copper around here, otherwise this place would be completely gutted. More contactors, just control boards after control boards. Hmm, and back out to the light again. Whew. It was hot in there, wow. Whew. I worked up a good sweat. There's the old rusted up anchor here. Just off the bow of the boat. Whew. Cool. Just hanging out, where's the bow look like here? Yeah. Look at that. Um, this looks like the working space where most of the fishermen would probably do their work. 
I don't see any cranes or anything, so I don't know how they'll do it, but this side of the boat is cut and open. This side is not. So that's something to do with the design of the boat and fishing, which I'm not really sure. The cuts on the starboard side, which also might be the unloading side that it ties up to on the dock. Um, whoa, neat. I wonder if the old winch here, look at that. Another uh, storage locker, oh, that's dark in there. It's in here. Gotta, I don't know, I can't get that one open. Whew. Oh, this is the same one. These look like more coolers. That's what all these uh, lines are up on the, on the ceiling and the, on the side of the hull. They're for cooling, so refrigerants will go through or they use the ocean water to help cool the fish down that they, that they store. Um, this is the bow of the boat. Oh, I think I hear Forrest flying the drone around here. Oh, he's up there. Hey, Boris! <laughs> cool. Oh, I'm glad I uh, checked this boat out. That was pretty sweet. Oh. Thank you for joining me on my journey. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos, you can check more of my videos out on my playlist over here. Force and I are also filming a travel show. You can check out my link in the description below or search different media on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I'd love to see you in the next video.